M0FXB, welcome to my channel. AOR DV1 or DV10 scanners that receive DMR, D-Star, Fusion, Airband and HF. So they're excellent. And we are learning the editor software. Now, I don't know if we call it software because it works from a browser, which means you type it into your search and this window on the right hand side opens and there is a little help button here. We click that and that's what you're seeing on the left and you get these instructions. And the only way to learn this is to use it. So that's what we're going to do now. It's a learning video. Uh, they've given some one, two, three, four items there. As you go down, there's the one, two, three, four. So let's just do it. Now you do need to save everything to your SD card, which plugs into your PC via an adapter, USB adapter. You don't, you don't plug a cable into the actual radio. You just take out the SD card, which is just here behind this flap and put it into your PC. Now the way you save everything is you hold down the record button and you can either select number one or enter and you can see what's on your SD card just by scrolling up and down. It's got some CSV files, recordings, you could even put firmware on there. Or if you clear that, hold it down again, the record button, go across to backup you, you start to execute and enter everything onto your SD card. So the, the radio will work without an SD card. It has a really good memory. So search banks, if we press enter, it will add them to the SD card permanently. So if we go down to memory channels and click, because that's the main one, so click enter. It's writing them to the SD card and so on and so on. So you go down and it actually says the word execute. It does come out every time you do that, as you can see. So when you're in VFO mode, you can see it's VFO mode. You just go menu, enter VFO, enter VFO A, and then to save things, you hold down enter, and you can start to save. And when you're happy with what you've saved, you go down to memory channel parameters and enter, and that will save. So that's how you do that. And to go into memory mode, you go menu, cross, enter, okay? memory mode and you're in your memories now that you've got now you do select which bank and channel you're into if you look here it says naught naught I know it's quite bright naught 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 seven that means we're in bank naught naught and and channel 07 to check when you're in memory mode it allows you to go to change banks so you can go 01 01 and we're now in bank one channel one you get the idea and you can change with the channel knob okay so that's the basics Let's go over to the software and just start going through these different instructions. So on the right, we've got the SD card in. We're going to click open. And this is what we see. If we go down to our USB drive where the SD card is plugged in, which you will find here in a sec. Where's that gone? USB, USB, PC. There it is there, removable F. Oh, it's asking me to enter it. So let's just enter it again. We'll just take out the SD card, always helps. Gently push that in and pull it out and it, the gold bit faces you. Put it into your adapter in your PC. Plug it in. Let's have a look now. We'll try open again, open. Go to my drive, and there it is. It puts the, these, this is what it's put in. It's put in master six. That's probably, what is that? Is that a file that I've created before, I think? So yeah, I called it my master file. Memory banks, memory channels, search banks, search groups. And there's a whole lot of learning for that. But let's just do for now. If I double click memory banks, I find that that doesn't do anything. But if I go open, go to memory channels, straight away there's memory channels that i have stored on the device and and that has also stored my different memory groups now remember i've loaded this up using rruk which is this site here on the left you search frequencies once you find something if we just choose something at random now we you do have to pay money every year to use this so we are logged in by the looks of it yeah log in Let's just click airports for now and we'll click any airport. When you go to go scanner export and we choose AR, AOR, DV10 or DV1, 
it puts the banks and the channels that you've got here at the top yeah now you can just finish this and export this file yeah and it will create a file now or you can just keep adding so for if we just add another one add more frequencies well i actually recommend you go add frequencies and start a new bank so let's say we've got air band in this bank now let's go add frequencies and start a new bank i prefer that because then we can choose say let's just choose another one uh, nationwide and then we'll just go pmr yeah and then again we, we can go down to scanner export aor dv1 or dv10 now and then you get the idea you, you're adding more banks and more channels so if you go here on the software there's bank two bank three these are all what i've been experimenting with here it's a lot easier to find things when you're using the device and when you finish you just go finish the download and it creates this file for you which you can then um, hopefully we can use that to if we go open let's try it uh, remember we are learning open we just made that file download I'll just double click it and let's see what it does so we got bank zero remember Bagby didn't save many um, channels but anyway you get the idea and then we go to number two and that was the PMR one that I just did so do you get that how you can just add channels add banks as you go along so that's the basics. Now there is this thing here called multi data create, which I feel um, this RRUK is actually doing. Look, if you look at the top here, AOR multi bank memory file creator. Well, I feel that th that's what this is meant to do, but so that please select channels to create a restore point. So let's just go, let's just go to a bank I haven't used. So there's a blank one. Then we'll select some channels then we'll go multiple create now it says here choose file choose no file chosen so and then you've got template file and then underneath you've got choose file so what is a template file this is the bit I'm stuck on template file let's just choose the one I saved just now yeah frequency list choose file then create invalid frequency. So that's the bit I'm stuck on. So I know how to use RRUK. I know how to open a file that I, you saw me create. To me, that's the easiest way. If I'm going to go bank to bank one. I can add all my favorites. I can add Airband, PMR, Marine, and, you know, all my favorite stuff. I search using RRUK, which I highly recommend on the left here. I can add channels. And if we just quickly go down through the instructions, Let's find our instructions again and we'll just see if we can pick up any notes, see what it says here. So number one says, click new, select the file type of memory channel file or template file. Now I don't know the difference between a memory channel or a template, but it does say to you, if you've never used it before, you should use memory. So if we go new, um, memory channel file, you can see it says template. And then let's just say we're on the ARDV10 and we go create. So it creates a blank file. Uh, there's no channels in this, but it is it is in the format of a file that you could put into the, I guess, what you can put into the radio. Yeah, and then we'll go down, click open. Well, we just did that, where you just go open, and we selected the file we, that you saw me create. That's fine. Yeah, did that. Uh, click save. So if we go to save, we can save what's already on there, and it gives it a name. So we go save, and that's another way. So we're saving what we've created using our editor. Help, that's very handy because you get what's on the left there. You get a nice long help there and it explains the tabs to you. So you've got new, open, save. We've looked at all that. File info, I've seen what that does. So let's just say we open, let's open that one we created, which is that one there. Okay, yeah, and then we can go plus and it tells us what the file name is, the type of file it is, what model it's been saved as, because you can actually change it to D, there is a way of, if you've got a DV10 but you want to save a DV1 file, you can actually do that. Um, so that the file info in the instructions is that. Uh, memory banks, select a memory bank, so at the top here, you saw me earlier, was selecting memory banks yeah and this is this device is basically 
banks, memory banks, with, which are lots of channels inside the banks, but you can join banks together and you can even in, uh, into scan groups. And I think you can go even further than that and, and, and join scan groups together. So let's say you've got a bank of channels, um, say you've got Airband, Marineband and um, PMR, okay? You've joined those groups together. So you've, you've joined those three scan groups together, but you can actually join scan groups together as well. So it's, yeah, and you can do it all actually via the radio. So let's just go down now, cut selected memory channel. So you've got cut, copy, insert, remove, and clear. So um, you, that will be like, you just, I, I don't do much cut and copy, but if you go like that and go cut, look channel has been selected yeah you select it and then you copy it as well so let's just close let's go to copy yeah you can copy and then paste is it was it right click paste oh, i don't know so that's again really something i don't hardly ever use let's go down but if you do now this is the hard one that I still find hard to get. Select an empty memory bank and memory channel number from which you would like to start bulk registration of frequency channels. There are two ways method. Manually set a start frequency and step. Yeah, so that's, this is quite advanced. This It seems like you can select a start and finish frequency and it will create a file for you. So what it says is, Select an empty memory bank, so we'll do that. Um, and then from which you would like to start bulk registration, click multi data create. Now it doesn't tell me to select the channel, select an empty memory bank and memory channel number. So let's do from there, zero, okay. From which you would like to start multi data create. Let's just do it. Then we go multi data create. Um, manually set a start frequency. Select a previously created template file which contains memory data you would like to replicate at a larger scale. Instructions go new file, template file, select receiver model, create. So, well, we've got choose file. It doesn't say new file from input. Let's try that. Start frequency, the 144.000. Then you choose the step. 25, let's try that. Number of channels, 20. Create. Ah, I think I put the step in wrong. Hmm. Not really, this is a, for me this is confusing. We've got edit, step adjust. I think it's, it's too, at this point I need to just focus learning just on the, 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 the what's it called here? Multiple, let's go back. Multiple data create. So I need to learn more on that. So right now we've got the beginning bit where we're creating banks and channels and as I learn I'll let you know. Bye for now, 7-3.